Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna be working on the shovel. Got new products from Old Stuff. So we're gonna be installing them today. I'm a fan of Old Stuff and have been running their parts since 2016. The B blocker was the first and then the oil lines. They are quality parts made in the USA and I haven't had any issue with them. Today we're gonna be installing the new four speed training plate as well as the kicking pedal. What I like about this training plate is that it's adjustable with this bolt right here. You can move back and forth. And the design is really nice too. It's nice and light, made in the USA. And there's a fender mount right here too, which is really cool. All right, in order to install the train plate, I gotta remove the oil tank. All right, since I'm taking out the tranny, I'm gonna replace the main seal. Shout out to Nick for having this in stock, so I didn't have to wait. Here's the old plate, pretty heavy. All right, we're gonna see how heavy the old plate is. It's about three and a half pounds. All right, now we're gonna see how heavy the uh, old stuff train plate is. It's a little over one pound, so you save like two pounds. All right, next we're gonna clean up this area. One eternity later. Just got the new plate in. Next, I gotta make a um, fender mount for this area right here. Fender mount, not the best looking, but this will hold. This one was my old one. It had the uh, oil back support as well.
Shout out to Old Stuff for having this hole right here. Small stuff like that matters, you know? All right, got a new seal. All right, next I'm gonna place a gasket here and here. New gasket right here. Shout out to Nick. All right, so here is what we're waiting for. I'm gonna mark it so you guys can see that it's moving. All right, just finished with the install. Let's recap what we did today. New old stuff tranny plate, new main seal, new gaskets, new kicker pedal, and I also replaced a new belt. This install was pretty easy. I rated three out of five. It's just time consuming since you gotta remove the old tank to make room. But yeah, I'm proud to be running more old stuff parts on my bike. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.